Financial services institutions face unique cybersecurity challenges. Scale, complexity, and sensitive data are but a few examples. As a result, they're prime targets for cybercrime. Today, we'll show a brief yet powerful example of the threat hunting capabilities built right into RevealX. Today, we'll focus on hunting in Active Directory environments, a prime target for threat groups, as approximately 90% of the Fortune 1000 uses it. With this in mind, let's test a hypothesis. We'll see remote service creation activity over the last seven days in the PC subnet, a potential indicator of lateral movement or other advanced attack stages such as persistence. To test our hypothesis, we'll choose the Microsoft RPC protocol, which is used to interact with processes on remote systems. It happens to be a useful place to look for suspicious activity and is where we'll begin our hunt today. For today's video, we'll go straight to records, a detailed log of every transaction that traverses the network up to 100 gigabits per second with 90 days of look back. It's the perfect source of high fidelity data for threat hunting. For this hunt, we've scoped our time window to the last seven days. We'll go to the MSRPC protocol, the request side specifically, where a client will request a remote service creation on a specific host. The remote service creation operation, which we can filter on here, is called create service W, and we'll do a fuzzy match. Let's have a look for any results. Okay, we have our results, and in fact, our test has come back positive. We can see PC3 reaching out to both PC2 and PC1 issuing this create service W operation. Now that we have results, it might be useful to dig deeper into the nature of these transactions to see any other events that might be associated with them at the time. In order to do this, I'm going to add a field called flow. What the flow represents is an actual TCP connection and all of the transactions that traversed it during the time of interest. We can simply select this top flow here and it will filter based on its value. This is an example of the visual query language that RevealX uses as opposed to ad hoc queries. I'm able to simply click and change my views accordingly for my hunt without having to write or learn a complex query language. Now that we've filtered out our flow, we can simply clear out the create service W filter. And this is going to open up and show us all of the MSRPC calls that took place on this one connection. And here we have a full audit of all of the transactions, the operations that took place, what time they occurred down to the millisecond, all associated with this single connection. One useful technical note about the MSRPC protocol is that it commonly uses SMB, Server Message Block, also known as SIFs, for its transport. So it might be useful to open the aperture of our search up broad enough to show any other protocols associated with this TCP session. I'm going to open up any protocol that might have traversed this single flow that we filtered out here. And as we see, we have our results. We can see this TCP connection had much more going on than simply RPC. We see Kerberos authentication, or RPC request and response, as well as, as suspected, our SIFS transactions. To filter out just the SIFS transactions, we simply click on SIFS, and the Visual Query language will apply the filter. And now we have a full audit trail of every SIFS transaction associated with this service creation, which we've now positively identified. Notice we see the client, the ports involved, ephemeral ports included, the server port, which is the target PC in this case, which methods, as well as, and perhaps most importantly, the shares that were touched and the resources that were accessed. The admin dollar share was accessed by a user named Sauron in this case. And perhaps most interestingly, an executable file was transferred during this particular TCP session. From here, there are a set of actions that can take place. For starters, we might want to export the results to CSV or Excel for evidence. We can also export the packets and only the packets that are associated with this set of transactions. We can also save off the query for subsequent use by a level one analyst for future threat hunts using MSRPC. And lastly, we can kick off a set of automated actions such as containing this suspect host via our rich third-party ecosystem partners. RevealX capability allows for sophisticated detections, rapid investigations, and very powerful threat hunts. Combined, these capabilities reduce financial and compliance risk across cloud, on-prem, and hybrid environments. I hope this was useful to you, and we'll see you next time.